So this is using an SDR console, I'm connected to somebody else's remote, but I've got my own SDR play over here that I can switch to. So it's kind of complicated, um, it's not really as easy as you would expect, but then you start by downloading the SDR console software, and then um, let me see if I can show you. I'm going to close this out and then I'm going to go in here and I'm going to um, I'm going to start it. You'll see how it boots up. Okay. So right now it, these are all servers I've added on here and then there's my SDR play. So what you normally would do you'd add something to start with because when you first do it there won't be anything on there. So, you can add yours, or you can search others. Just click search, um, and I want the V3 server. This thing's being slow. So, there's a version 2 server, I'm not really sure what the deal is. So here's what it shows as the current one I've got in there. Here's the information. If you add it here and you don't see a password, you're not going to be able to use it. So these are all on sdrspace.com. So you click that folder down there. And this gives you a list of the available ones. So if you get a check mark by them, they're good. If they're exclamation point, there's something wrong with them. Um, but you got Montana, Pennsylvania is offline, uh, Australia, Germany offline so there, there's a, a pretty good sized list on here um, and I haven't used these and, uh, and listened to my own signal yet so I don't know if they have the delay like the Kiwi but um, you can pick any of these to so say I want to add Australia I'm gonna click on it and then go up here and hit select and he doesn't want anybody using it because there is no password but maybe you don't have to have one Usually most of them have a username and a password. Um, and if they don't provide that, then usually you can't use it. So, I go back into here and pick something else. Um, let's try, uh, we have already got Maryland. Um, let's try Valencia. Okay, select same thing it's not putting anything in there so um, and it won't let me hit the okay because you have to have that information so basically some of these are private I guess uh, San Clarita we got Belgium let's see if we can get Belgium you see and that says guest and it gives me a password and then it allows me to click okay and then it'll ask me, do I want to update this device? I'm basically, it finds their device. So um, you click update. And then it's added it to my list here. And now I have to click save. Okay. And then now I need to know which one it is. And then I select it over here and then click connect. And it'll show me if they have more than one receiver there'll be a whole bunch of them in here and it'll show it there and then you click start and if it's not being used your audio will come up okay so I'm I'm in Valencia tuning signals so um, unless I click the wrong server So 
So, it's not quite as easy as SGR Uno. You put it on the signal, sometimes it's off. But you can look up here, you know what your frequency is. And I scroll through the mouse wheel, and it, it just changes my frequency. I could scroll through the band using the mouse wheel. pretty cool and in my opinion probably easier to use than any of the other stuff and I can move around my spectrum of the band see what other signals we can find You think I can get him on here? <laughs> I'm in Arizona, so there's no way. But this is a great propagation tool. So anyways, uh, uh, if you got any questions and stuff, I'll try and help with whatever I can. Post it down in the comments, and um, we'll go from there. I think this is really cool. And a lot of people don't know about it or they're not using it. So, 73.